What's up, everybody? This is Jesse from SoCal Digital Repair. I have an iPhone 6S with a TriStar failure. So currently, I have it plugged in to charge. Uh, if you look at the USB meter, yeah, 0 0.004. That's typically the charging current you'll see for a TriStar failure. So 0 0.004. Um, see if I unplug it. I'm back to zero. Plug it in. Zero zero four. So confirmed. Um, you know, put in a working battery, turns on, but when you plug it in, uh, nothing happens. So let's go through that process of replacing Chrysler and try again. So I will take the board out, and grab my preheater. I like to use the preheater um, here because it makes it easy. Wait, let me see. line this up. Makes it easy to peel off the sticker. Uh, and then I typically don't peel off the whole thing. I just peel off this. Um, so TriStar is right here. So with the preheater, it warms it up enough so it peels right off. So I just go about like this much, and I put a coin to hold this out of the way. Now, try star, it's right here. So you, you kind of see it, it's in a tough spot because of the shield. So using uh, some wire cutter type tool, we have to give us some room. So the way I do it, I gently Set the blade, try to bend this upwards. All these. I recently uh, messed up these tips, so it's a little harder right now. There you go. So bent it up, and then I just put it across like this, chop it off. There you go. You try to snip off a little more. You gotta be real careful. It's real easy uh, to like chip or crack um, one of these components. Um, don't ask how I know. So, um, so the key um, is to always position the, the board in a way you could comfortably uh, reach the chip you're trying to, to grab. So, like rotate it and then try to see if it's a, a good angle so for me I grab it here so put some some flux flux is always necessary um, when in doubt put a lot so I put 365 Celsius 65 air and then looks like I'm blocking the camera Alright, I'll try to do it like this. Um, sorry, I'm blocking the camera, but best I can do. So, just keep hitting it, go in circles. And then, once you see the flex bubbling, you kind of assume the chip is uh, ready to go. Oops. There you go. Okay. Uh, looks like I bridged some pads here. Typically in this case, well, typically for TriStar, I don't uh, clean off the old solder. I just put the TriStar on top. Uh, but in this case, I bridge. So what I do is um, I run the micro pencil over each pad, just to kind of flatten them out, make it uh, as even as I can for when I put the new chip. Great thing about the micro pencil curved tip makes it easy to access um, those corners. 
with uh, like a weird angle. Alright, so new tristar. One, one important thing is orientation, basically which which direction the chip is facing. It's very important. Uh, on this 6S, it is like this. So the, the dot is on the facing this way. Um, you could always reference ZXW if, you, if you're not sure. It'll have like a little, well, you look at A1 or look at the little like arrow thing at the corner of the chip. It'll indicate uh, pin 1, which is this dot. All right, so right now I'm just trying to line this up the best I can and come back with uh, some hot air. All right, so let me adjust this slightly. I slightly burned my finger. All right, uh, so just kind of don't go, don't get too crazy. Just heat it up because it is a smaller chip. It will. Uh, it's easy to blow it away so it flies somewhere, but also easy to melt it. So you kind of see it, it move into place. Uh, if you're not sure if it's there, you can bump it, but you gotta be real careful. Yeah. See how it snapped back? So, I think we're good. So, for good measure, we will drop some alcohol and scrub it with a uh, toothbrush. Basically, you don't want um, all this nasty flux to sit there. And then get hard, and I don't know, maybe cause problems. This is good practice to always clean the area you put flux. I see a lot of um, a lot of people who are starting off on this. They don't clean up after themselves, and it really it, it looks nasty. So it's a good habit. Okay, so take out the coin, put the sticker back. Get this out of the way. Okay, so um, we could use steel block to help cool it down. So in theory, if, if this uh, if this issue was TriStar, we should see some um, something close to one amp charging via USB. All right. So let's put this phone back in. Let's plug in the necessities, so charging ports, um, screen. Battery plugging in. All right, so let's see how we can do this. Um, so I am about to plug this in. There we go. See how the numbers are going higher. Before we were at, uh, yeah, see charging low battery. Just give it a second. Um, there you go. You see it jumped up to 0 0.778. That's close to 1.0, which is one amp. Um, Click the home button, see the low, low battery. So yeah, this is fixed.
Um, we probably have to let this uh, charge for a while. The battery is probably completely dead. But, uh, but yeah, we're good to go. So if you guys uh, enjoyed the video, um, let me know in the comments. Um, I plan on making more videos like this, troubleshooting, real-time repairs, um, try to give all the information I can during the repair. So let me know in the comments um, what you guys thought and what, what else you want to see. Maybe there's something I haven't thought of. So see you guys around.